things that have been going on for me in the past week. My toms came! Aren't these awesome? I got a new nail polish. This position makes my eyes look strangely large. Somebody got a bath this morning and a haircut. He is not pleasing me right now, but he looks and smells so much better. Should really rethink this yellow background. Best new chapstick ever. I just finished my second week of program, so I have been there for officially 14 days. Which obviously, if you can do basic math and know how long a week is, you have already figured out. Yesterday, my meal plan was increased, which means that I will be eating more. There's an interesting biological thing that happens when you restrict for a long period of time. Your metabolism slows down and basically stops working. And when you start eating again, which is what I'm doing right now, it speeds up. Did the program call it hypermetabolism? I don't know if that is a correct medical term, but that's what we call it. So basically, I am eating a crap load of food, even more than what the normal person eats because my metabolism is, is running so high right now. So that is what is going on with me. Today, I would like to share with you something that a very wise person shared with me. And to do that, I would like you to dig around in your high school English toolbox and pull out this handy dandy little thing we like to call a metaphor. And yes, I'm quite aware that most of your faces right now just went because you never expected high school English to be applicable to real life. Well, guess what my fine feathered friends, it is. When I first started going to the doctor for um, anorexia, he told me, Meredith, you need to eat more. And so, you know, I would leave the doctors, I would go home, and I would eat more for the next week. And then I would go back, and he would say, you're still losing weight. And I would say, how is that possible? I've been eating more. And he's like, well, it's not enough. So I would go home, and I would eat more for the following week. And then would come back and he would say, you are still losing weight. You need to eat even more. And I was so confused and frustrated because I was working my butt off, eating more food, and it wasn't doing anything. And so he brought up this metaphor to help me understand what was going on. So first of all, I would like you all to close your eyes for a moment and really seriously close them. Don't just do the whole, um, she's halfway across the world on her computer. She's not going to know if I close my eyes. Close your eyes. If you just went, ah, you did not close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Now picture in your head an awesome, gorgeous, state-of-the-art apartment place you've always wanted to live or if you hate apartments imagine a house or I, I don't care like a tree house or a cardboard box wherever you want to live picture that in your head it costs two thousand dollars a month to live there say right now you're making three hundred dollars a month do you have enough to live in that house mm -mm. I don't think so my friend so say you get a raise you've done an awesome job at work now you're making six hundred dollars a month is that enough to live in your $2,000 a month house? Still not enough. Say you double that. You're making $1,200. That still isn't enough. You have to make $2,000 to buy a new house or else you're going to be stuck in the little hole in the wall that you're living in right now. Now you may be asking yourself, how does this tie into the story you were just talking about, Meredith? Good thing you asked. The normal person needs like a 2,000 calorie diet. If I was eating, say, this is just hypothetical, 300 calories, and I increase it to 600 calories, it is more. In fact, it's double what I was eating before, but it is still not enough to sustain a person who needs 2,000 calories. Even if I doubled that, it still wouldn't be enough. Hence my problem. Now, with your eyes closed, imagine a hurricane passing right through the middle of your house. So the next month, your $2,000 just ain't gonna cut it because you need to fix all those repairs that happened to your house because of the hurricane. How does that connect with this? The eating disorder is a hurricane ravaging your body. So all of a sudden, the 2,000 calories you were eating isn't going to be enough to repair your body. So you have to increase it. And that's why a lot of people who are recovering from eating disorders need to eat even more than the normal person because their bodies are so sick from the eating disorder that they have to 
work overtime to not only feed themselves what they need, but also to repair themselves. Then if you throw in the hypermetabolism problem, you get a lot of food. But the good news is, for anyone who's struggling out there, it does not last forever. You will eventually normalize your metabolism, your body will be repaired, and you will go back to having your $2,000 a month apartment. Yes, it is hard for the time that you're going through it, and it's scary, but it gets better. And for those of you who are freaked out by my use of metaphors, fear not. Next week, we'll be back to our metaphor-free update. Kudos from Silent Girl for watching.